in real life. Okay, what affects the rate of diffusion? <laughs> well, the concentration gradient. Concentration gradient means what? The concentration difference. The concentration difference <laughs> meaning that in the previous picture we see that oh, one side has a high concentration the other has low concentration this is what I mean high and low concentration the larger the differences the faster the diffusion rate so at the beginning you have a very high differences but at near the end of the diffusion the differences between the left side and the right side of that container becomes very small. In this case, the diffusion rate will decrease. At the end, when there's no differences, there's no diffusion rate at all. And then molecular size. Well, as I told you repeatedly, in biology, size matters. Everything has to do with size. So, but this time, smaller the better. The smaller the better. Smaller molecule move faster. See, not everything large is good. Small is good in this case. And then uh, we have lipid soluble and water soluble. What does it mean? I already briefly mentioned lipid soluble molecule. They can go through the cell membrane, charge or polar mo molecule, they cannot, no, well, 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 we are talking about diffusion rate, how come they talk about the membrane, passing through the membrane, okay, this one, point number three is weird, because we are talking about the rate of diffusion, but this one is for um, passing membrane. Passing the cell membrane. Passing the cell membrane. Well, it can, it may have some effect, but it's, it's more like explaining why it is semi permeable. What can go through the cell membrane, what cannot go through. For the lipid molecule, lipid soluble molecule, yes, they can go through the cell membrane. For the polar, or charged molecule they cannot go through this point number three well it's not too related to the diffusion but this the point number four is highly related to diffusion the higher the temperature the faster the rate why well the higher the temperature um, the more energy is this in the system when when the substance or the molecule get more energy they become well more excited and then they move faster when they move faster of course the diffusion rate will be higher osmosis osmosis is the diffusion of water across the differentially permeable membrane see i told you that uh, some textbook called differentially as i said the most common two terms is semi-permeable or selectively permeable. You, of course you can call it sem uh, differentially and osmosis is specific. You need to have two criteria. You need to satisfy two criteria in order to have osmosis. One is water. It is the movement of water molecule. Second one 
you need this differentially permeable membrane. You need to have a membrane. Basically, you need to have a membrane. So these are the two conditions that you need to have. Water and cell membrane. One way I help students to memorize the differences between diffusion and osmosis is that, well, I would like to say something uh, politically incorrect. I'm sorry to say this. In community college, it is forbidden for a professor to talk about religion. It is a state law. We are not supposed to talk about religion. But um, in order to help you to memorize the differences between diffusion and osmosis, I'll tell you an analogy that is related to religion. So, you know that there's a, in certain religion, um, there's a character. The name is Moses, okay? And as you know that what Moses is the most famous for? Moses is famous for parting the Red Sea. That means he's good at moving water. So this is the analogy you have to, you, it helps you memorize. Osmosis is the movement of water. Yes, because Moses moved water. Remember this, osmosis moved water. <laughs> okay? Diffusion is our, all other stuff. And also, because we said that osmosis is the diffusion of water, so it follows the same definition of diffusion. From high water concentration to low water concentration. What's that mean? High water concentration, you may call it more diluted. When you have more water, of course it will be more diluted, right? When you have more water, that means it is less concentrated or less concentrated. Okay, I only put con, then you know that less concentrated. Low water concentrated. Low water concentration, it means less diluted. or more concentrated because you have l less water less water concentrated less water concentrated that means it is more concentrated okay more concentrated more concentrated but remember osmosis movement of water remember moses okay and there's another rule that helps you to memorize water follows salt. What do you mean? When you have a place that has more salt, and we have a place that has less salt, that means you create a concentration differences. Then water will go to the will go from the area that has less salt to the area of more salt. So, because water wants to dilute that area, dilute the highly concentrated area. That's why we call it water follows salt. And this actually is the basic principle, the foundation, basic principle of your kidneys. Kidney, your kidneys uh, controls how much urine or how much water your body um, excreted as urine by controlling how much salt you excreted in your urine. Similarly, your kidney control how much water to reabsorb back to your blood by controlling how much salt uh, going back to your blood. Because water always follow osmosis. Last point is important, we'll spend a few slides to talk about this. 
water go through uh, water enter cell through protein pore we call this aquaporin the protein pore has name aqua you need you know that it means uh, water porin basically is a protein pore means protein pore aqua means water aqua porin literally means a protein pore that allow water to go through so this is it Well, this is a demonstration for osmosis. I don't know if we still do this in the lab or not, but in the past, we have this demonstration in the lab. So we have a 10% uh, solution in, in this glass tube. And then at the bottom of the glass tube, we have this uh, selectively permeable membrane. So this red thingy here is the selectively permeable membrane. And then the beaker contains uh, water or lower concentrated solution or water. So what happened is that at the beginning of the class, you see the level of the color solution like at the middle of the glass tube. And then at the end of the class, you see that the level of the color solution increases. It's like magic. Why? Because osmosis occurred during the class time. Water, water molecules, they go from the bottom, the more diluted solution in the beaker to go into the more concentrated solution. So they go from bottom up when you have more water to go into the uh, this glass tube, then the level, then the level of it, of course, will increase. Will increase, go up. <laughs> so it just tells you the experiment. Okay, the fistol, or, or, or I just call it glass tube. The fistol is ten percent has ten percent solution. The beaker has 5% solution. So the fistol is more concentrated. That's why you have osmosis. Water move into the fistol through the selectively permeable membrane by osmosis. So the water column rise and solute. The solute, solute like the um, molecule in the fistol become more diluted. That's why it's got less than 10%. So here we talk about putting the animal cell and the plant cell in three different solution. The first one, it is the isotonic solution. Oops. So, well, sorry, the light turned off myself. Isotonic, iso means the same. Tonic from the word tonicity. You may, well, at our level, okay, this is a GE class. This biology is a GE class, so uh, we have a, <laughs> I don't demand you to have a 100% scientific uh, accurate uh, definition. Tonicity, you may assume that it's the same as concentration. Isotonic, meaning that it has the same concentration. Meaning that you put the replica cell and the plant cell into a solution that has the same concentration of the cytoplasm. Second case, hypertonic. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, not hyper, hypo. Oh, 
অনেক হাইপোথনিক মিনস লো লো কনসেনট্রেশন সলিউশন ইন দিস কেস ইট মে বি ওয়েল পিওর ওয়াটার ইউ ক্যান ফুট আ রেপ্লেস সেল এন্ড প্লান্ট ইন পিওর ওয়াটার হাউ ডু ইউ মেমোরাইজ ইট ও কোসিফ ও লো ও ওকে হাইপো মিনস লো লো এল ও লো কনসেনট্রেটেড সলিউশন মে পিওর ওয়াটার The last one is called high power. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Bad handwriting. P E R hypertonic. Hyper means high. high concentrated solution so when you put the cell animal cell plant cell into different concentration of the solution they will have different um uh, outcome we'll talk about it now